I recently switched over to the Edge Browner, sir. Actually, last Friday after watching the Linus Tech Tips live stream, and they were trying out the new um, chat GTP integrations into the search. Um, that was very cool. Now, it's not live for everyone yet. Uh, you can get on the wait list on that. But anyhow, I, I had been thinking about switching and trying Edge for a while because I've been having issues with Firefox, being slow, and just having issues with it. So, I did, and f one thing that was bothering me is I'll often have a lot of YouTube video uh, windows open, tabs, and um, my go-to was to click through a few and preload them. Problem in uh, uh, Edge is it's default to autoplay. So if I go click on a few of these, they all start playing, which I don't want. I just want them to load, okay? So that's an issue for me. So what you have to do to correct this, which I think they should change to default anyhow, but my preference. Um, they have a setting, but they actually have it turned off. So what you have to do is, I did a, a Bing search to find this, how to get videos to stop playing in Edge. Uh, what you do is you load uh, Edge, blah, 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 backslash flags, copy that into your browser, and you'll get to this page here. You know, enter, get to this page. And you want to do a search for the show block options in autoplay settings. You could probably just do show block even. Let's try it. Yeah. Anyhow, and what you want to do is set that to enable. And then you got to restart. And then what you do after you restart, I've already done this so I don't have to, but you restart your browser, so close it, open it back up again. Then you want to go to edge, blah blah blah, backslash settings, content, media, autoplay. That's also shown in that search right here. Okay, so you go to that page, and what you want to do is control for audio and video play automatically on sites. Default is set to limit. You want to change it to block. So now you have to restart again. Let's close your browser. Open it back up. And now when you go and preload these sites, they're not auto-playing. So that's fantastic. Uh, a couple other little cool things I wanted to show you. Um, I don't know if other browsers have this or not, but it's got built-in um, tab, uh, what do you call it, sorting? Uh, what was it called? Yeah, uh, yeah, grouping. So if you click on, right click on any tab you have up here, you can add tab to group. So you hit new group and then call it whatever you want. I have three currently. R is just the regular stuff I always have open. Uh, y for YouTube and S for Steam. Okay. Whoops. Click that. So now that you have these all in the group, since I have so many tabs open, which I normally will have like 40 open, you can't read the titles, right? But now what you can do, since these are all grouped into the YouTube tab, the Y tab, if you click on it, it minimizes them all. And now you can see more of what's up here. So now if I do the same thing on my S group, once again, you can see more it makes the tabs bigger. So very cool. And then you could just open it back up, depending on what you're doing. I thought that's really cool. Uh, the sidebar is really cool. It's got a built-in uh, like coupon finder in that, and it'll even pull coupons out of your email if you connect it to your email. Uh, um, it also has... Uh, built-in like tools, you can put in different uh, world clocks, you got your calculator, and you can adjust all this stuff. Dictionary, there's a translator, 
uh, unit converter, which is very cool because I use uh, unit converters all the time. Usually I'll just Bing search for them, but this has it right here, so that's really cool. You know, Fahrenheit, Celsius, whatever you need to do, it's right there. That's pretty cool. I would like to move this. Oh, you can also add um, uh, links to different websites here and and other different things. Uh, it's really cool. I like it. I just wish I could move it to the left-hand side, which you can't yet, but they do plan to change that in the future, I believe. So, yeah, hopefully that uh, helped you guys out. Um, yeah, definitely try out Edge. I like it pretty much so far. It seems faster. Um, yeah, at least than Chrome. Well, Firefox. I haven't used Chrome in a little while because Chrome annoyed me. But yeah, Firefox has been kind of funky lately too. This seems pretty good. So didn't think I'd ever go back to a Microsoft browser, but uh, I am. So yeah, have a good one.